What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about the newest news in the Vin Diesel uh, versus The Rock drama. And uh, oh boy, yesterday was quite something. So Vin Diesel posted on Instagram. Well, actually, let me say this. You may be asking Alex, why are you covering this? Well, because this is Fast and Furious, so I have to. Vin Diesel posted this on Instagram. My little brother, Dwayne, the time has come. The world awaits the finale of Fast 10. As you know, my children refer you uh, refer to you as Uncle Dwayne in my house. There's not a holiday that goes by that they and you don't send well wishes. But the time has come. Legacy awaits. I told you years ago that I was going to fulfill my promise to Pablo. I swore that we would reach and manifest the best fast in the finale that is 10. I say this out of love, but you must show up. Do not leave the franchise idle. You have a very important role to play. Hobbs can't be played by no other. I hope that you rise to the occasion and fulfill your destiny. Now, it's very condescending. And I think that's the first, uh, you know, uh, maybe even the first time I read it, I didn't really mind it. Although he literally immediately says my little brother, Dwayne. Now, here's the thing. He's five years older. So technically he is, if you want to refer to that, you know, there, he is the little brother if, if that is like a you know family relationship. But I almost feel like, or maybe it's not even almost, maybe it's just how it is. It's the whole looking down to, you know, talking down, like literally he's smaller than Vin Diesel when it's probably the other way around. Look, this is not a drama channel. I'm not a drama Hollywood person. In fact, I hate Hollywood, 99% of Hollywood in general. These two have never really, you know, done anything that's made me overly mad at them. But you know, in terms of drama, I don't want to participate in it. The main thing here is get Hobbs back for Fast 10. Here's the things that I kind of notice from this though. So what we do know is I believe filming on now remember it's 10 part one and two technically it is 10 like there's no 11 it's kind of like harry potter or like uh, hunger games or whatever but it's it's fast and furious 10 part one and then part two back to back years they're filming it all in one go starting in january my uh, assumption is that you know they have everybody locked in they literally start filming in two months and he has still you know the rock du dwayne johnson has still said you know i'm not doing it and uh now if you want to read into it any further, you know, he does, uh, you know, Vin Diesel does constantly say the finale, you know, that's Fast 10. So, again, what, does that mean he wants them back for 10 part one and two or just part two or, you know, so it, it depends. But I, I feel like they really want him back. They've probably been because people have said, like, well, why? And I get this. Why wouldn't you have done this behind closed doors in terms of like negotiating with, you know, with the Rock's agent and all that stuff? Chances are they have done that, though. That's the one thing I will side with, you know, like, why is he bringing this drama out into the open? I would side on the side where it's like, well, they've probably already done everything they could have done behind closed doors. So now it's like, well, let's try to get the. And, and granted, this could backfire spectacularly where The Rock just wants, you know, nothing to do with it. Is now this could backfire where it's like, well, you just brought all this stuff out. You're talking down to me. You're saying, like, I have to do this now. And it's, you know, as much as I do want him back in 10, like, more than anything. It is a situation, I've even talked about it, like with my own videos on the channel, you may even want to do something in life, and then as soon as somebody tells you, you have to do it, there's immediately just a function in your brain where there's kind of a little bit of a, you know, you know what I mean, like a little bit of rebellion there where you don't want it. Even if it, even if it's something you want to do and you're told to do it, you're like, well, you know, maybe I won't because you told me I have to do it now, whereas I was just going to do it. With this situation, it's... I'm not going to do it. I don't want to do it. I'm done with Fast and Furious. Maybe Hobbs and Shaw, but I'm, I'm done with Fast and Furious for sure. And now you're telling me I have. So, you know, I mean, I get it. I get how this is probably not going to end well. I could assume or I would assume that he probably will not be back in 10. But I would say they're doing everything humanly possible. And, and I will say this, you know. I don't care, again, because, like, they're Hollywood elite. I truly don't care about their personal lives or anything about them. But, like, you know, whatever uh, conversations they've had with each other and whatever, you know, issues they may have behind the scenes, whatever. But from, like, a general fan point of view, right? So, like, these movies are for people that spend the money and, and go see them. Like, it would suck majorly to go see 10, the ending of literally just this, thing this big big thing that's happened right in fast and furious and to not have one of the best characters like easily right i would say top five top six seven right he's definitely in there in terms of you know luke hobbs he's great i've always liked him really you know obviously he shows up in five and the movie's just 
magically get like much better. For, now I'm not saying like it's all on him, but I think he was a big, you know, uh, I guess piece to the puzzle of what made Fast and Furious so special. Uh, so to go, you know, at five, six, he's really a big shining, you know, star in all of the movies. You know, five, even seven, he's barely in it, but he's really good in what he is. And then eight, he's he's fantastic. Everybody is is really really good in eight. But they haven't been so many of them. And then, you know, you're going to do this conclusion, this this final act, closing it all together, and to just kind of, like, kick him aside, not even purposely. You know what I mean? They would, I, I guarantee they would have found a place for him in 9 if he was willing to do it, and it just didn't obviously work out. But, you know, when it comes, and that's, you know, that sucks too. But, like, when it comes to the closing chapter, like, finishing the, the franchise, to not, that's actually a big reason why I want Gal Gadot back. You know, you bring back Han. I think there's definitely room, and, I, and as I've said in past videos, I think they left the door open slightly uh, and purposely in nine to bring back Giselle. I really, really do believe that. And I think, uh, you know, why not? Why not have her in 10 part two? You don't have to have Gal Gadot there that long. You have her there maybe a month or so. She does it, she leaves. You know, and, and honestly, you could do the same thing with The Rock. You have a big family dinner even if it's just that and i have said that before even if you just want to have a family dinner which is going to happen we all know that right at the end of 10 10 part 2 okay you have giselle there you have the rock there and you have brian played by his brother with like the cg if you do that and the rock is in no you know hobbs is not in any other parts of part one or two but he's at that family dinner i feel like that's still generally okay now obviously i want him to be in much more than that but i'll take what i can get so it does. Uh, it, it sucks that it has to be this way. It sucks that it's really this really weird Hollywood drama that like nobody is like championing. You know what I mean? Like nobody actually wants this to you know these two to fight and all this stuff. And and yet it's happening. And really, again, I I don't care about any of it. I just want I want him in the movie. I don't really care about anything else. Again, I I do care. I guess on a personal level, like if he feels. Like, there was obviously some bad stuff done to him or, you know, the way Vin Diesel treats him or whatever. Like, you know, as a human, I guess I do understand that. I also think there could be, uh, and I don't, I don't know this, I just, you know, I just, I, I guess I maybe just hope for the best in people. I, uh, I would want there to be, like, a path of redemption. So Vin Diesel is serious about kind of moving on from this, which the letter kind of sounds like that. But again, it sounds like he really wants to move on. And he also does want to let people know, like, you know, The Rock says, you know, Merry Christmas to his kids and his kids say Merry Christmas back. Like, I, I do assume that stuff happens. I don't think he's lying about that. But I, so I think it's partly like, hey, let's remember, let's remind people or let's remind ourselves what we mean to each other. But I'm still going to put you in your play in your place. And it's like, well, I don't know. I, I laugh because it seems like just a Vin Diesel thing. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's just the way that it is. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure, as always, you guys are subscribed to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up. I do a brand new video on the channel every single day. And so I hope to see you guys for tomorrow's video.